So uh, we are currently, like I said, are on a streak of 13. What do we have so far? We've done Slug A, NGA, Zelton C, Kestrel C, Stealth A, Lanius A, Slug B, Kestrel A, Lanius B, Stealth B, Crystal A, Zelton B, and Rock A was the last one. So we're going to just jump right in, my friends. And it's when, not if. That's right. What's up, Spectre? When. When. We'll definitely get this sometime. If, if nothing else because of my stubbornness. But let's see what the first random ship of the day is. Here we go. Three, two, one, and... Random. Zoltan A we have not done. All right, the strongest of the Zoltan ships. Although, don't ever get cocky because Zoltan ships are always weak to boarding. Um, I swear, I keep randoming Zoltan ships and I have no request for anybody to be a Zoltan. It's all, you know, rock crew and uh, Lanius and Mantis boarders. <laughs> Nobody wants to be a Zoltan. Poor Zoltans. Uh, FTL means funnier than like sure. All right, and then two people are like, okay, I'll be a Zeldon. All right, here we go. We have three requests. Let's do it. Octopus four. We got Tyler said. Tyler said, and then let's get Side Dog. You get to be the most useless of Zeldons. The one on piloting. Uh, if I do have to play a Zeldon ship. This is the one I'd want to play, since it actually has working shields to start. Although I guess Zeltan C has that too. But it has work, working shields and offense I can aim. Two very important, useful things. So this ship, um... I think the first upgrade we want to get on this ship, even for second shields or engines or anything, is actually a weapon value, if I'm not mistaken. I think weapon value is usually the first... Um... First uh, upgrade to look towards getting. Charge ion not aimable. Okay, let me clarify. Uh, it has offense that is aimable that can do some damage. That is actually useful. Uh, a charge ion that you can aim at shields or weapons is not not terrible, but a, a beam drone that you that's going to shoot empty rooms over and over is pretty terrible. Probably the last one that needs working shields on start. What do you mean? Oh, the, the Zoltan A, probably. Although, I will say, Halberd Beam is really slow. So, I don't know if I completely agree with that. This is the weapon that, uh... Sleeping Dragon and my Copley and others say that experienced players sometimes over... What's the word? Oh, God. Instant free borders. Over... Uh, hype or whatever. Overvalue. Yeah, overestimate. So I'd rather play powerful vessels first or later. Uh, I don't know. It's all random, Spectre. I, I'd like to maybe get a good one, then a bad one, then a good one, then a bad one. This is stupid. Remember what I said? The worst thing this ship deals with? Goddamn borders. And our first fucking fight is free borders plus Zoltan shield ship. Overrated, that's right. Okay, so how am I going to deal with this? Oh, yeah, on Zoltan A, Halberd Beam is not overrated because it has Zoltan Shield support it. Okay. <sighs> okay. If I end up having to move my crew out of weapons or engines, I'm going to need to depower other things so my weapons don't go offline. ZZ Top. Uh, is that to, like, open all the doors? I don't know if I want to do that. Depends on where they board. I might have to pull all of my crew out of systems... Depower my shield while I deal with these frickin' borders, man. Okay, that sucks. I don't know if I'm gonna do this in time. Can I at least force them into heal bay? Get out. Fuck me, they ran- they followed him! Fuck you, you fucking shitty- Oh my god, my shields were down. Am I fucking instantly dead? I fucking hate this fucking game. <sighs> fucking hate this fucking game. 
Why the fuck did they follow me to O2 from the heel bay? Why the fuck did they do that? Ah, oh, I fucking hate this game. I fucking hate this game. Ugh, first fucking jump, double man mantis rock boarding into goddamn... FTL, I just, I don't know why you don't want to have friends. Ah, fucking doors, man. I fucking hate this game so much. Yeah, going great, going great. First fucking jump, man. First goddamn fucking jump. Welcome to FTL. You all wonder why I need a goddamn break from this shitty game to play other games. Ugh. I watch FTL says, you think two dudes want to fight in two people rooms. Great. Wonderful. They want to be in a two-tile room because they know they could be outnumbered 3v2 in the med bay. Maybe they repressed O2s so they weren't really following they just had to go to the same place as you. I don't fucking know, man. I hate this fucking game so much, man. Oh, what a goddamn shitty start to the day. This is such a shitty start, man. Instant fucking loss of crew. The reason I'm raging so hard is because that means not only do I lose crew, I lose fucking power. Oh, I'm now fucking behind, man. I need to get like a free NG or something to make up for this shit. Because now, instead of weapons, I think I have to get power or else I'm screwed. What a terrible fucking start, man. How the fuck was I supposed to deal with a Mantis plus Rock and... Doors immediately. I depowered my shield so I could move my crew around. I vented the rooms. God damn it, I don't know how I was supposed to do that any better. I don't fucking know how I was supposed to do that any goddamn better. Crew can breathe in between fights. Yep, yep. I have no idea how I was supposed to do that better. God damn it. First jump, Zoltan Shield bypass bullshit. Rock plus Mantis into doors so I can't vet, vent them. I have to move my pilot instantly or else I have no doors and I can't control where they go. I don't know how I was supposed to do that shit. I don't know how I'm supposed to do that shit. Okay, we're alive, we're alive. Can I please have fucking free crew, you shitty game? Thank God. Thank God. Okay. ZZ. Well, how does ZZ help? ZZ and run to heal bay? Do I have to... If I do that, I move all my guys to heal bay, then all my shit gets depowered. ZZ is opening all the doors. This, and if I hit Z one more time, the vents open. I assume what I watch FTL is saying is ZZ, hit a second time, then close these doors as I run all my guys to heal bay. I don't have to depower stuff. My weapons probably get depowered. I, I, don't, I don't even like that play because... Maybe it forces them into heal bay quickly enough, but then my weapons get depowered. It screws everything else up because goddamn Zoltan crew. Uh, okay. But yes, I guess that was something I could have done. Fuck you, FTL. Come on, one shot him, one shot him. Thank you. Is there, is there fire from that missile? Let me check. Oh, man. This is like, what, what we're two jumps in? Three jumps in? I'm already freaking hating my life right now. God damn it. 
Oh, it's so fucking frustrating to lose crew on the first jump because of fucking free borders into instantly... I, I literally said when we rolled this ship, don't get cocky because this ship sucks against borders. What's our first fucking jump? A Zoltan shield fight with Mantis plus Rock in my doors. It's like, that's probably the worst possible start on this ship. Apart from the ship having, I don't know, flak heavy laser to go with that shit. Jesus Christ. <sighs> that is just an absolute disaster of a start. Getting this free crew in the nebula maybe can save us, but this is just... If I can think of worst possible first jump with this ship, I think it would be that. It would be a Zoltan Shield ship with man with probably the only thing worse would be double mantis borders into my doors or some shit. I think that's the worst possible first jump for this ship. They had to roll Rock Mantis too, couldn't have been nice to give us two stupid humans. Yeah, I probably was okay with two humans, because my pilot that I used to fight them wouldn't have died so fucking fast before I could even vent. The room, man. Jesus Christ, that's just literally worst possible start. All right, let's get our weapon value. And now, what do I need to do? Uh, I need to buy power now because I lost my Zoltan. I think next. Maybe get engines upgraded first, I don't know. I know, and then... Ah, oh, this goddamn game, man. This freaking game. Not only are we gonna cheat, we're gonna cheat with the worst possible bullshit that you could possibly get so that we can punish you as hard as we possibly can because we are mother-effing cheating pieces of crap. Fucking missiles, man. Fucking missiles. Two damage missile. I know, I'm cursing a lot. Sorry, chat. Sorry, chat. Although, that's, I guess, why you come to hear me curse at this game or something. No, no, you're not allowed to have missiles. FTL, I just, I don't know why you don't want to have friends. Oh, man, I need, I need something to recover. What do I need? Get that so we have more dodges for our first couple of volleys. Sometimes FTL gives you rough starts. The other day, the first two jumps your Manta C run involved you make, taking 20 damage, losing a jump to double fleet pursuit, and making zero scrap because you had to run from both fights. God, that sucks. That sucks. I've already seen my one store. Let me plan out my jumps. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. So if I'm here in five. Yeah, I need like a free flak or something. Deep breath, yeah, I need to... We're not dead. We've only taken seven damage. We've lost a crew. It's okay, I just need to... Not let the salt over overwhelm me. Don't get tilted. Just literally worst possible first jump. I'm trying to think, and I... I don't know if I can think of a worse first jump for this specific ship. Than first jump, double boarding... The only thing that's worse is another variation of that. Bullshit. It's the only thing I could think of that's worse. Because boarding is the worst possible thing for this ship. Ugh. Fuck you, man. You go ahead, missile down. And it tilts me. When the worst possible thing is a thing that happens, I just, I get frickin' tilted, man. It just tilts me. Fuck you, fuck, fuck you, <laughs> fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> yes, yes, I feel that. I agree with that statement. Pass Rand. That's, I agree with that statement. We need a chain laser, huh? Triple boarding. I don't think it's possible for free triple boarding, Sector 1, on that event, Javier. But I think the only things that could have been worse than that event were variations of that event where they had worse weapons or um, worse borders. Uh, at least it's a bad start in a strong ship rather than a bad start in a weak ship. 
Worst would be a ship with double heavy lasers plus combat drone and asteroid field, but that's probably the worst fight for just about every ship. Okay, All right. And I'm not sure if that's worse for this ship or not. It probably is because of how fast they would get through a resultant shield. But if they didn't hit our weapons or shields, we would probably be able to survive that. But yeah, that does sound pretty terrifying. Okay, I don't think I can get this distress and all the other jumps. Um, what's our next goal? Hacking? I feel like I still need power before I do that, though. Shield value. Ion plus missile and they had a teleporter to put more borders on. That might have been worse. Um, Ion plus missiles, maybe. You saw a streamer die first jump on Zoltan A due to a ship like that. Yeah. What do I want to do, chat? Do we want to upgrade power? Do we want to get shields? Or do we want to save up for hacking? We've already seen our store this sector. Keep that in mind. Do I even want to go to a stress beacon? We have carefully cut the ship out. We have Zeltons for overcharge their shields. Is that a is that a distress beacon thing? I don't know if we have that many distress beacon blue options. You'd save. Excuse me. Go to distress beacon here. Just finished the VOD for Hollow Knight yesterday. Glad you're still enjoying it. Would I like two points of unsolicited advice that could greatly increase my enjoyment of the game? <sighs> um, I don't know. If it's spoilery, no. If it's just quality of life, sure. If it has to do with getting around the map faster, sure. Oh god, oh god, okay. Fucking missiles, man. Fucking missiles. Oh my god, he got through my shields so fast. Okay, he didn't hit my shields, thank god. I should have gotten shield value point. I should have done that. Uh, yes, take this deal, give me the F out of here. I do not want this fight to go on any longer. Should have got shield value point for literally single laser, single missile into shields after getting through my Zoltan shield frickin' instantly. Oh, there is a second store. Okay. Then it's probably good I saved. Well, we'll see. We'll see if it's good that I saved. God. Second Zoltan shield in, a, in sector one. Give me a break, game. Give me a break from bullshit, please. Give me a break from bullshit. At least they don't have free borders, right? Right, chat? Oh my god. It's two damage missile, too. Oh, I didn't need to fire that. I didn't fuck expect... You. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> I didn't expect to actually get through his ult too with that shot. For some reason, I thought Albert Beam didn't even with one extra damage. I only have five missiles left, though. Come on, come on, Halberd Beam, hurry up. Don't let that missile fire. Good. Good deal. Nice double reward. That was six fuel, holy crap. Uh, non-spoilery... Advice. First, charm builds are meant to be switched out often. It makes fun to find ideal combos. If you're struggling with a boss like Hive Knight, just drop quality light stuff like Compass Swarm, gear up for fight. Okay. Second, there are many secrets within secrets. Hit every wall many times. Okay. Alright, that's good advice. How long has the stream been going for? Like 15 minutes, and I've already raged a lot. So, normal FTL, I guess. Don't hit every wall multiple times, you'll go insane. <laughs> There's hacking. Is it worth selling Lido for hacking? Because that's what I'd have to do. Tater says I'm already good about hitting walls. Okay. Um, 
five missiles left, eight drone parts. Salito for hacking? Yes or no? What do we think? Uh, I could just buy a charge laser instead. Hacking kind of big of for scrap this early. Well, if if I didn't have to sell Lido, I'd do it in, in a heartbeat. Hacking is just that good. 225 Gary. The question is, I don't know if it's worth selling my weapon value weapon for hacking. Sleeping Dragon says, think yes. Development shield with shield hacks. Halberd wins early game. Uh, well, EPR lied. We're going into second sector, so we shouldn't be fighting two shields instantly. I'm honestly leaning towards yes, because just hacking plus halberd is almost GG win the game. Not quite, but it's freaking amazing. And what we can do is even if we don't hack shields, we can hack weapons and make for a lot of safe fights. So let's do it. I'm going to do it. Let's go ahead and do it. I would like a lot of stuff here, like a uh, backup battery charge lasers so I don't have to use missiles to get through shields or hacking, but hacking is the best choice of the choices we have available. I think next we either get second level of hacking or power or shield upgrade. This is a safe fight. If I put these two guys in shields. It means I don't get engine training. But this is this is a safe fight. I can get piloting training. And maybe shield training, is that right? So I could get piloting training on a Mantis and maybe some engine training. Or maybe some shield training. Alright, this should be safe. This should be safe. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's get the piloting training. That's the only thing we can get here right now. Piloting and maybe shields. Shields is much less important, I would say. Then O2 kill them after to rub their nose in it. We'll see what their um what their crew looks like. If there's a if it's level 202 in an NG, I don't know if that'll work. Okay, we should be good here. Ideally, next sector you can get another beam to upgrade into, and then you can one-shot everything for quite a long time. Yes, ideally, two beams in hard mode, no flaws, my favorite. What's up, Boomer Jimbo? Hope what runs go well today. This run started off ridiculously bad with our first jump, but then we've recovered a decent amount, I would say. Story time to lighten the mood. Um, hold on a second. It's, I mean, story time when I'm doing training isn't that good anymore because we have speed hack. So I just, I don't, I don't have stories that last 30 seconds long anymore. So if I want to O2 crew kill this, I believe I have to do something like pull NG. So the Mantis is the one repairing O2, so this might work, maybe. Okay, I think this might actually work as a crew kill. You'd have to guarantee, I think that's a waste of a drone part. Just to guarantee, Jesus Christ. It's the only thing they can actually do is eye on my weapon. I don't actually need to watch them, so let's go get on piloting again. If I need to hack, maybe I will. Ah, this sucks. I can't move my Zoltans to, like, check sensors, because if I move them, then we're not safe from damage. The only reason we're safe from damage is because the two Zoltans keep the eye on from doing damage to us. Uh, Keep getting my shields down. Tell us the saga of your desktop. I don't know what that means. My desktop computer? Do they get out in time now? God damn it, man. Stupid shitty game. Do it, do, what's the charge time on running away? 
I'm not I'm not getting out of this until somebody tells me what the charge time is on enemies running away. Does anybody know what the charge time is? I don't actually know. So I probably have to hack their pilot now, don't I? Have I ever tried an achievement speedrun? No, I haven't. I think it's 15 seconds. God damn it, chat. Uh, not chat. FTO. God damn it, FTO. Know if the hack does it. He's stuck in there, so I think if I don't take this, he might actually still get out before the beam shot gets through. So take this and go after yourself. Stupid game. Stupid, stupid game. Uh, the O2 hack wouldn't have changed that either. O2 hack wouldn't have changed that because... They would have still just been living and piloting now. That was a double reward. Running away bullshit, man. Ugh, this is not a good start. This is not a good start. Sorry, I can't tell stories when FTL's kicking me in the face over and over. I'm sorry for people who really want to hear stories. <laughs> tell FTL to be nicer to me. Tell this effing game to be nicer to me and maybe we can actually have fun. But currently we're not allowed to have fun. Because FTL is a piece of crap. FTL be nice to Duran. Yes, thanks, Amosito. This one is a double reward, yeah. Wiki says 40 seconds is clearly what I watch FTL says. I'm pretty sure 40 seconds is... When it's a fight where they start running away or something. I think if they start running away in the middle of a fight, that's the faster run time. CS Vapor, thank you for the tier 1 sub. That's a new sub. Appreciate it. Welcome to the randoms. FTL may be a piece of crap, but it's more... Is it more trolly than at Hollow Knight? Well, in my opinion, it is. 40 seconds is a no fuel time. Oh my god, this is the third Zoltan Shield in Sector 1. <laughs> uh, and I don't get through his Zoltan Shield to start. Do I need to ignore this? This is fucking three Zoltan Shields in Sector 1, by the way. Just, just... Bullshit. Yeah, double heavy lasers means he gets through our Zoltan Shield before we get maybe even one shot off. Good to sub for how much you've been watching the uh, YouTube videos. Appreciate it, uh, Vapor. I think I read your message this morning, because I think you requested a crew. I, I kind of think we don't take this fight, to be honest. Gets my weapons or shields, I'm effed. And we don't even get the result and shield with our first shot. So 34 seconds before our first shot gets through. 34 seconds he gets... What is that, three volleys off? It's Halberd Beam, 17 seconds. Double Heavy Laser 1 is... God, is it nine seconds on Heavy Laser 1? So is it 27 seconds? He gets three volleys. 36 for four. So I get my second Halberd Beam shot right before his fourth volley. Since weapon, 30-ish seconds since weapon charge, but still iffy and less safe since we don't have the Lido to fall back on. Yeah. Why I was thinking of not getting the ha hacking. Oh, man. This is a high reward, right? Ah, oh, Jesus. So I can... Power my engines every time he shoots, and I have... Piloting trained. This one ship can counter our build. Bilbo, did you miss the first jump this run? 
any ship that boards us with Zoltan Shield bypass counters this entire ship. This is just annoying. I wouldn't say this counters our ship. Oh, Jesus. I kind of want to take the fight, to be honest. It's saying the hacking that we bought. Oh. Well, then why'd you say the one ship? Okay, whatever. Yes, okay. Yes, the one ship that counters our hacking, I guess, is what you mean to say. Fucking third Zoltan Shield in Sector 1. God damn it, I'm doing this fight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get fucking wrecked, but I'm doing it. Please can I dodge? Fuck. Zero fucking dodges. Fuck you, game. Don't hit my shields or weapons. Don't hit my fucking shields or weapons. Thank God we dodged. Okay, now we're safe. Now we're safe. Oh, Jesus. Stressful ass game is stressful. We had to dodge one out of six shots. Guess what? We dodged literally one out of six. Ah, oh, man, that is really tempting. That is actually really tempting. But it's high scrap if we turn it down. I already have hacking, though. Did I hurt your murder, cough cough? I know, NG for blue options and fast repairs. Our crew situation is really bad right now. If we turn this down, we get guaranteed high scrap. What is guaranteed high scrap in Sector 1? Sleeping Dragon can tell me. 19 to 23. Which would give me a second shield and a power right now. Uh, it's the endless debate of Sector 1 NG versus Scrap. Farb would say, how does NG help me win? And I would say blue options and re repair and anti-boarding. And he'd say, but what, is le what does that let you buy? I already have hacking and a halberd beam. Oh my gosh, this is tough. I'm, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna freaking take the NG. Taking the NG. I should probably have taken the scrap, but... Uh, this helps me deal with fucking borders, which is what I'm most afraid of. Uh, helps me put out fires and other crap. Um... Is that the exit beacon? It was. Let's see what's in the next sector first. Civilian's great. Completely worth? Maybe. Maybe, but if we get to a store and see a flak that I can't afford now, then you could argue that I shouldn't have done that. So it's always a trade-off when you take a deal like that. Problem is, if I keep fighting Zoltan Shield ships, upgrading my hacking does nothing. So I kind of want to get second shield next. And I could have done it if I didn't take the NG, but... Let's do this for now. Shield value and power. Okay, boarding. I need I need a fight where I can tr train again because I think I actually want to get no I probably want to keep my mantis on piloting I want I need to get engine training engine and weapon training I need to get if I let one guy board run away three humans. I think I want him to board, right? I 
Okay, that hits there. He boards, we do this. Oh god, he's got this bomb still on my... So I don't want him to die, I want him to run this guy back. It's really hard to crew kill with a halberd beam. I doubt I'm going to be able to do this, and this is probably not even worth going for, but... Probably done too much full damage already for the crew kill. He boards me once, I have to kill this guy. I don't even think the guy that we damaged is low enough to crew kill now. Probably would have to O2 if I wanted to crew kill. Yeah, okay, never mind, screw it. Okay, that's a good deal. Take that. Double reward is worth not getting the crew kill. Um, it's less of a risk here than it often is because hack two halberd can kill two shield shifts without us needing to get another weapon. You still reject, but you're not on no pause. You could hack weapons here and let the bombs run out carefully. I think every shield has a value point in it so far. Uh, yeah, you're, I think you're right. I, I don't think we fought a ship without shield value points so far. Just FTL balance things. Hashtag balanced. Okay, so I want to get I want to get second shield so we can have safe fights to train. Hopefully, careful of running away. Yeah, thankfully that one didn't. I mean that's cheaper, but I can't spend scrap on reactor right now. I need I need my shields up before I do any other upgrades. Even if I see a store. <sighs> Four Zoltan shields in 1.25 sectors. Thanks for the free stuff. That gets me my shields. I'm gonna skip the store and get shields. Jesus Christ, man. Four Zoltan shield ships in one sector and Four jumps worth of FTL so far, man. Give me a goddamn break. How the F does every ship in the goddamn game have Zoltan shields? Ah, I'm gonna have to hack shields here, I think. I think this one shot's in. Okay, good. Well, does it reserve salt? Heh! <laughs> minimum scrap. Literal minimum scrap. Give me a break, you stupid piece of... Ugh! Come on, game. Come on. Minimum reward every fight. Zoltan shields every other fight. Alright, finally, we can train. Finally, we can goddamn train. All right, let's train. Let's train our engines. Um, I can't really train weapons with a halberd beam, but I can at least train engines here. If I say I can, I can train engines, but not weapons. Do I want to cross train anywhere? I might want to cross train NG on engines, maybe. Eight scrap ride, seven scrap board scout. We're so rich. Um, Step civilian, why are you dressed like a Zeltan? Yeah. What's up, Torsten? Nice rock A around the other day, just saw the VOD. Thank you. Alright, um... Are we actually getting shield training? We are. I guess I'll let the NG slowly shield train, at least to level 1. I'll probably swap. NG to engines, the engine zone to shields. I'd rather have cross train on engines than shields, I think.
What's up, Tigo? Sounds like everyone in the galaxy was willing to reconcile their ideals without war. <laughs> well, I guess true progress can only be achieved by blo uh, without bloodshed. True progress can only be achieved without bloodshed. Yeah, I guess so. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is... Slow train weapons. Is that what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go put you on sensors. What we got here? Two humans. I'm gonna try to crew kill this while slowly training my halberd beam. And if they start to run, I'm gonna probably have to hack again, which is super annoying, but. Level 202. Okay, I don't know if this is gonna work. Um, do I hack 02 then? Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Okay, let's do it. Um, would turning off dodge work better for shield training? Uh, I think so, yes. That's why, part of the reason I did it. So now, we wait for him to repair. Then we hack, then we shoot it again. Not sure if this crew kill will be worth it, but we're going for it. Again, we kill it. All right, that should do it. Let's hope that crew kill is worth. Come on, good double reward. One and nine weapon. Okay, well, it got us a human. All right, not ideal, but hey, that, that was a double reward. Um, six of one, Bilbo. Might dodge Ion and get heavy for training. Might dodge heavy. Why not hit the enemy crew? Uh, I guess I could have. Yeah, actually, I could have done that. So now I want the human to be my pilot. Because that frees my mantis to deal with borders. The problem is... I need another ship for training again now, but... I guess I'm going to save these positions. Uh, and you are... Do I have any NG requests? I don't... Any NG ship NG, so no. So I need, uh, so we, we get Silly Device on our ship. Silly Device is now here. I have... Okay. Two people trained on engines now. I could put, I could put the Mantis on engines and put the Zoltan on shields? I don't know. I don't... I think this is fine. Sorry, it's, uh, yeah, you, oh, Butters, yes. I'm Garcia, wants to be a human, okay. I'm Garcia. All right. We should be immune to borders, Kappa. Yes. Did you see the beginning of this run? I'm going to guess you did and you're just trolling. But yes, we should be immune to borders. But FTL doesn't care. FTL is a big fat cheater. I have an anti-drone to sell. have that much scrap even with that I couldn't afford a weapon and I feel like that's what we need is a one or two power weapon right now or just hack two I'm gonna knock out the story yet oh god solar flare okay at least it's not free borders solar flare so we can do ten damage here one two three four five five rooms one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so I can one-shot him if I hack shields. Yeah, I don't I don't want to be here. I don't want to be in this solar flare. Okay, do we get out before the solar flare? That's the question. I think we do. Good. 
good. All right, that's what I was hoping for, another store that we can actually have more scrap before we go to. So six, five, four, three, two, one. How do you wish for being a crew member? Yeah, just ask. But ask when I have a crew that's available, because if you say right now, can I be a raw crew, I won't remember that. So you have to ask when I get crew. Send I watch FTL 20 bucks. No, you don't have to do that. Fifth Zoltan Shield enemy in two sectors. In one and a half sectors. Fifth. Five Zoltan Shield enemies. Hey, everybody. Guess what? Zoltan Shield is a rare thing that only very few people have in the galaxy. Unless we are playing today and every goddamn ship in the goddamn galaxy has this shit. Every goddamn ship in the galaxy has a Zoltan Shield this run. What the F is this? What the F is this run right now? I swear I've not seen this many ships with Zoltan Shields in Sector 1 and 2, and I don't remember the last time. Can I be the shoebox someone stores their 40k minis in? You got it. You got it, fine boy. Please be dead. Thank you. You like to visualize the halberd cutting across the ship, tearing a molten slash through the floors of the hull. Nice. Um, that sounds like a lot of complaining, Rand. Where's the positivity? Uh, I left it in my Hollow Knight run yesterday. All of the positivity was in Hollow Knight yesterday, so you missed it. This is FTL, where I'm playing a stupidly overpowered ship, and we're fighting every ship that is also stupidly overpowered with direct hard counters to our build. So, my positivity is in my other pants. That's where it is. If Zoltan Shields were this common, you would start it would mark, start to make sense why all the enemies have Zoltan Shield bypass. Yes, my positivity is in the box of the kittens floating down the river. That's correct. I would love another free NG, though. Okay, alright. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Now I can free my Mantis to be on doors. So now there's a free NG. Uh, who wanted to be crew? Who was it? Uh, was it Torsten? Torsten, if you want to be crew, there's a there's an NG available. So just now, you just need to ask. Uh, is that your positivity in your pants? Or you're just excited to see me. Okay. <laughs> Where's the positivity? Bend over and I'll show you. Wow. Damn it. Fucking map. Worthless game. Alright. Well. Worthless game, man. Anything but a map there would have been great. So what do we get? The fucking most worthless thing. Alright, well let's just get mind control. So help deal with the borders. I wish there was backup battery to go with it. Hoping for a weapon upgrade. I maybe shouldn't have gotten that before hacking two because we're about to go into sector three. But I should. I hopefully I'll be able to get hacking two with this next jump. I really need power too. Um. Well, this would be a. This would be a uh, training ship, but. They're running away, they will no doubt want to see the show position. Ah, <sighs> god damn it, game. God damn it. Every ship running away. Man, I don't even have enough power to hack and have. Whatever. We're gonna one shot these sh shit bags running away. Get one shot. I'm very negative right now. I really am. I'm sorry for the negativity. I, I need to be more positive, I guess. <laughs> it's just, it's so hard when every ship has Zoltan Shields. We're kind of behind in scrap. We have two systems, which is good. But I'm behind on power. My crew is good, at least. I should be more positive. What's up, Mike? Good to see ya. As I'm raging at FTL, just like normal. I think I prefer Abandoned here. Force Nebula after, but that's not too worrisome. 
more Zoltan Shield ships when I fought five Zoltan Shield enemies in the first two sectors, which is like about three to four more than normal, I'd say. Um, yeah, let's go abandon three. Hacking two for the two shield ships. Positivity is overrated. <laughs> okay. Okay, I need I need power for days now. I need so much power right now. What did I sell the Lido in exchange for? That thing that you were saying was so good that we had. Hacking. We were at 78 scrap when we got to our the second store in sector one. The only thing we could sell to get hacking was Lido. So that's why I don't have a Lido. Okay, well, let's see if my control text is here. Okay, kill your friends. The only thing that is really sellable on this ship is what I sold. Because I hadn't gotten any free stuff yet when we saw hacking. I debated it for a bit, but not for long. That yes, hacking is better than Alito. Thank you for the 14 months of Prime Sub, Ogre. Really appreciate that. Time to dog walk. All right, Stephen Dragon. Good luck in the next few sectors. You and Carissa have a good walk. All right. And our first door is two jumps in when I have two scrap. Right after a basically empty jump. Worse than an empty jump, free borders that bypass Zoltan Shields because they must have Dalton Shield bypass, otherwise how could they cheat and get onto my tip? The first jump this run, Mike Copley, was... The reason I'm, I'm so salty is the first jump of this run, after saying the only weakness of the ship is boarding, was Rock plus Mantis into my doors versus a Zoltan Shield ship. So, I was pretty frustrated right from the get-go on this run. First jump was that. So, it's been a bit of a frustrating start. Even though we look pretty strong right now, the beginning of this run was not a fun time. Which, in my opinion, is. Fuck you, man! Get wrecked is worst possible first jump for this ship is free borders into your doors with the Zeldon Shield ship fight. I'm pretty sure that's literally the worst possible first jump for this ship. Uh, streak is 13, Friday 13 tomorrow, bad luck time. Worst possible first jump for this ship is death. Well, yeah, I could have lost all my crew there. Um, I will say Sleeping Dragon... said that like first jump asteroid field with double heavy laser one combat drone would probably be worse. Jesus Christ. Both of my stores are on the far left side of the map. When I want an early store because I need something, the game won't give it to me. When I got two scrap, they'll say, here's both your stores that you can't fucking do anything at. Thanks, FTL. Thanks. I'm just, I'm really negative right now. I just, I, there's nothing. <laughs> I'm so mad at FTL. So mad at FDL. All right, well, I just got getting power right now. You were just typing out that exact enemy? Yes. That's the only thing I can think of that's worse. Because even a shield hack, I think, wouldn't be as bad for this ship starting out because its biggest weakness is boarding in sector. Uh, Zoltan shield bypassing boarding. Wow, big surprise. He dodged just enough for me to do zero fucking damage. All right. But, you know, this is everybody's favorite run, right? You all love salt. So I'm giving you all the salt you can ever taste. Starting right off the bat today. All the salt you could ever fit in your mouth, giggity. Focus on the places the doll, F on the doll that FTL didn't touch you. I'll try. I'll try to focus on the positive. Murphy's Law of FTL Store Placement, yeah. 
If you have scrap, can't find a store. If you don't have scrap, here's all the stores. All right. Um, all right, I'm gonna start saving the scrap. Now that I feel like I'm not quite so power starved, let's start saving some scrap for all the stores we can't get this sector since we've got our only two guaranteed stores. But my doctor told me I need to limit my sodium intake. Then you might be in the wrong stream. You might be in the wrong stream. This is almost a safe fight. If that was a basic laser, this is a safe fight. I think we're guaranteed to take no damage if I take this deal, but that's not a very good deal, so I'm not going to take that deal. I have to dodge one of these shots. Hey, how about we dodge both of them? Nice. Hoping for another dodge there for training. Oh well. It also doesn't help that my hands are kind of hurting. I'm gonna I'm gonna blame my salt on my pain in hands. That's what I'll do. I'll just blame the pain in hands. Event store next jump. Um. Oh, well, we're almost full on crew. It's kind of crazy. I was so frustrated because our first jump killed a Zoltan, and now I've gotten one, two, three, four, five free crew since then. Although one of them was an NG I took that made me not get a high scrap reward sector one because I was not expecting to get literally all the all the crew. Can you be the new bug? Uh, sure thing, Ionic Dota. Hollow Knight win. Uh, Wednesdays and Fridays, dumb sir. For once, the schedule below the stream is actually correct. So, it was yesterday, and it will be tomorrow. Dog, remember when we turned down that high scrap for an NG? Yes, thanks for that reminder. Thanks for the 24 bits, Commodore Paul. Alright, what's my next goal? Feels like it needs to be a weapon. I think I'm going to continue saving, even though I'd like to buy power. Rand keeping a schedule? I know. It's weird. My empty jump is empty. Here is a hand related cheer mode as you blame your hand. <laughs> wow, this guy's got some really good weapons. I'm still going to fight him. Okay, it's not an Ion Blast Mark II, and that's only a Heavy Laser 1. I thought that was a Heavy 2 and, like, a a better Ion than the worst Ion and weapon in the game. So, thankfully for that. Good dodge. All right. Okay, very nice. Because I have a new pilot again. I would like to get some training on. Mm. All right, I'm I'm being a little greedy here to get some extra training. If I could at least get my pilot up to level one, that'd be great. Crew kill. Bomblania ship? What? What? I don't understand that. O2 kill Lilanius. Okay, chat. Alright, you're 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 high or something. I think you you might be having some issues with your brain or something. Four three Two, one, two, four. Which way do we want to go? This 
we'll go this way. I could have mind control and bio swiped. Oh, you mean mind control crew kill? Oh, I didn't even think about that because I honestly forgot that I have mind control. Okay, yeah, I guess I could have done that actually. I did not even think about that. All right, we're finally getting enough scrap where I'm feeling not behind. That's true, I could have done a potential mind control crew kill. That's my bad, that's my bad. I was worried about the training. I, I wasn't even thinking about crew killing. So maybe, maybe we can do something. Maybe we can do that here. Nice. So here... Once he gets into the shield room, I can mind control, but I want to wait till my shields... This. This. So we can let him in there. Okay. Now maybe this can crew kill. Maybe. If I'm patient enough, potentially. High on that positivity. You're so high on my positivity. Yeah, I know. It's a positive. Uh, let's keep this down. I want to get their health about the same for mind control finishing off. Okay, this should work. I think this will work. Yeah, as soon as they're both below 15. That does it. That does it. Okay, we did it this time to make up for the missed one last time. Ooh, okay, well that was worth... 50-something scrap for that crew kill? Nice. Bioswiping with a l halberd beam. I mean, if you call what I just did bioswiping, sure. But actually bioswiping, timing that with hacking on no pause, I mean, I don't know. I don't know about that. Wish you could specify which enemy crew in a room you want to mind control. Me too. Have I heard of the artists, the Oracle Sisters? Uh don't think so. I would like to buy power, but I mean, we could afford cloaking if we find an early store next sector. Now I do want an early store next sector. Did I just get another map? Well, at least the map came with scrap, so I won't complain about that. He's got a missile with only one shield. Do I want to hack his weapons? I one-shot him if I hack shields, don't I? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Ah, damn, I don't one-shot him. But I think if I hack a shields, I guarantee his missile goes down. Okay, at least it's not a Zeltman shield drone. And I can use only level 1 hacking here, which is nice. Save a power. Although I have shield power, I don't need to be using. Freaking pop ups, man. Uh, the Oracle Sisters have a song I might enjoy. You can whisper. Yeah, go for it. I'll listen to it later. After the stream. Let's wait for power to be up so I can have my shields online and my hacking ready to go. I can't believe we have all this crew after losing our Zeltan pilot first jump of the run. It's crazy to me. The capriciousness of FTL. Instantly killing your crew, then giving you a bunch of other crew right after. You're gonna run, aren't you? Yes. Okay. Um, we do fire before this laser, right? Yes. We should pull the pilot. Especially when we mind control afterwards. If I do... 
Do I have a crew kill this? I might be able to crew kill this. Similar way to what we did last time on that, um, okay, on the lane, yes. Do this, open the door, they fight in there. Now again, if you count, this is a bio swipe. Let him out. Is this Zoltan A? Yes, it is, Nimeon. This is Zoltan A. The strongest of the Zoltans, in my opinion. And probably just objectively he is the strongest. Uh, probably not an opinion thing, but... Oh, this guy's not going to be low enough, is he? Oh, damn it. He was gonna take up. He was gonna do a shot to us. There might have been a way to do that, but I don't know if there was a way to do that without taking damage. I would have had to beam the guy with higher health earlier. I think that word was too long for you. Which word? Capricious or something else? You could make an argument. Zone be stronger. Yeah, you probably could. I just the fact that you have to spend your first hundred scrap on shields makes it feel behind to me. You're basically 100 scrap behind this ship in defenses. But two ions plus a pike beam is arguably a, arguably a better starting weapon build, I would say. Uh, let's just check what our options are here. And doors on uh, Zelton BF, that placement, yeah. Okay, no clone bay. Flak Halberd. Alright, I'm thinking Flak backup battery here. Even though that delays cloaking, it's just so good. Okay, I'm always gonna do this. I think we just buy this and get it online. Lack of a starting shield maybe means more force loss chance overall. Can I get that online right now? I can. Let's do it. Maybe I don't need to hack shields every fight now. Oh, baby, I love me some Flak Halberd action. I love me some Flak Halberd action. Let's go! Now our goal is to find, get enough scrap and buy cloaking. Although I kind of need power, but I do have backup battery, which helps a lot now. Get one repair. Zoltan B is your least favorite ship layout, huh? Okay. Can't wait for Esty to come back to this. I see the runs turned out well. <laughs> uh, wow, one shot my zone shield though. Okay. That's some craziness. Okay, good dodge at least. Dodge two out of three of my shots. Wish I had your dodges. But get wrecked anyway. Four fuel, one drone part's not a bad deal. But you should go to hell and die, by the way. Go to hell and die. You go to hell, you die. I need scrap. Isn't this ship the strongest in the game, Largezo? Uh, I put it at the top of my tier list before I made a new hard mode no pause tier list, I believe. Uh, I don't actually think it's the strongest anymore. I think it's very strong. But it has a glaring weakness. Zoltan shield bypassing borders in Sector 1. Literally what the first jump of this ship was. Um, I think other ships are all around better than this ship, even though this starts with one of the best weapons in the game and the best defensive augment in the game. You've been burned by early asteroids on Zoltan B more than a few times. This is the most noob-friendly ship, in your opinion? I could see that. Yeah, I could see that. Crystal B is up there. You've had a hard time picking a top ship, though. To me, top ship feels like Lanius B, Stealth A, Slug C, or NGC. I think it's one of those four. I know that's a lot of choices, but... And maybe Lanius A is better than Lanius B if you consider starting hacking to be more valuable. 
Oh, this is a safe fight. This is a safe fight. Safe fight. Safe fight. Um, do I need weapon training? I think I'm done on weapon training, right? I'm not. Um, okay, well then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this guy to be our weapons guy. So this can get us... Uh, cross train... I actually don't want you on shields, actually, here. I think I want to do this. So we can have you on engines, you on weapons. Double Dalton and shield, which is my preferred thing. You are my shields guy. So we do this, we can get engines retrained, weapons trained, and pilot trained. Perfect. And then we can O2 crew kill this guy. This is the best ship for people that don't understand chain lasers. <laughs> O2 sluggy boy kill, that's right. It's gonna be a very loud training session. You're, got, you're becoming on board with all this training you are. Poor, who was the Zoltan that died? Sorry, whoever the Zoltan was that died. I've already forgotten your name. You get to train, you get to train, everybody gets training, that's right. Power the flag here. Oh, it takes a long time to train with just a halberd beam. And just think, um, Hollow did this training without using speed hack on stealth B with glaive beam multiple times. That is a patience that I can't even begin to imagine possessing. I can't imagine having the patience to do that. You've done that before, Mike Copley, you and Hollow have patience. I will never, ever, ever, ever try to attain. Hollow's built different, yes. That is true. He'll just pull up another game and play it while he waits, yeah. We cleared a lot of the hex game levels while training that glaive. Hex game levels. I'm gonna guess that's not Minecraft. Now you just don't bother, you'll sign the skills directly in a few seconds. <laughs> you'll sign them. <laughs> Frank does that too. Oh, is Frank the guy who recently got the Harbo No Pause? Uh, Whatchamacallit? Cycle done? Cheat Engine lets you directly edit the skills. Okay. It's similar to Minesweeper. Okay. Also the kind of training where you have to micro. Yeah. I'm just too, too impatient. I should learn that patience. The fact that I am patient enough to just do runs that take me three hours instead of trying to force every run to go super fast is progress, but I'm never going to go for delay beam training. I don't think I'm ever going to be patient enough for that. Uh, it's a modern take on Minesweeper with some cool rules. And wants to know how to do that, look up your video on Cheat Engine with FTL. Oh, okay. If you have a link, you can post it, Mike. I assume it's a YouTube video about Cheat Engine and FTL. All right. This enemy crew should be dying soon. Should be dying. What if you're playing stealthy as a 28 ship for the streak? Well, if I found a ship that I could safely do it and it was for the win, I probably would do it. I don't even know how to do that because I don't know what a safe ship is for training. I assume it's after you've gotten shields that you do that. But yeah, we've already done stealthy on this streak, I believe, thankfully. Well, now another guy I'd rather have on piloting. <laughs> they keep swapping my dudes. Uh, it's all right. You just go hang out over here for right now unless we find other training. This is gonna be an untrained guy What's up ultimate bronze noob? How's the grind looking? This run started not great but now We have a flak a halberd full crew hacking and mind control so I I Sadly as much as I want to I can't complain. I sadly can't complain anymore Although I'll probably find a way to complain
Um, you can meet the Mantis fighter with an ion stunner only. Can I be rock? All right, it's gonna be a while, Larry Serial, because uh, we have another fight we need to take forever to crew kill, probably. But sure. I don't want to hack here, and I might be greeting too much to not hack this first volley. Okay, we can't take a chance that we take damage here. Okay. So... Ah, screw it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna work on training here. Cause I gotta wait out this long fight anyway. Uh, let's slow down the repairs. Keep them in there without doing too much damage is the goal. And uh, he just sw what the hell? Why did he swap weapons? Must be. I have no idea why he did that. Okay. Well, I don't want that weapon online. Uh, so many people on this ship should require a level two auction. You're Dutch, so you get that. Can't complain, but you're going to anyway. <laughs> nice. All right. My goal is to just keep him on shields until he, you know, dies of asphyxiation. So that's the last shot I can do there. FTBL being so mean to Rand gives him nothing to complain about. I think that's something you could complain about. <laughs> okay. Literally what we do. Rain outside, shiznit weather. Sunny outside, too hot. Plants need rain. Got to scoot. All right, see you later, uh, Dapper Rich. All right, there it is. There's the crew kill. Uh, enemies reassign power when they start running, which can lead to a weapon swap. That's weird. Well, damn, now I need to vent my human, except my human is my pilot. Wow, I can't believe this run started with the first jump losing a crew, and now I have to vent crew. Uh, okay, who wanted to be the rock? Larry Serial. We're not getting rid of the rock, that's for sure. We've come for your Johnson. <laughs> Weapons power logic is actually part of a general power loop for all system. Isn't that a game? You have no mouth, but I'm playing FTL and I must complain. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to vent you, actually. I have three NGs already. If I vent you, I'd put rock on piloting. Everybody has training that I care about. Except the rock, but the rock's the only one I have. I'm I'm actually going to dismiss my Johnson as we continue to make this joke. Because uh, I want to I keep the pilot in training right now. I don't actually want to retrain a pilot again. I've already had to retrain like four pilots. Give me a break from pilot training. Yes, I vented my Johnson. All right, another guy we can do this same crew kill to. Hopefully this volley will do better than the first volley of our last fight. F in chat for Johnson. There we go. That'll do it. Now I will start doing this. Just because there's no, no downside to getting extra training right now. Uh, some people pay for that medical procedure. <laughs> Would a trans Rand be called Tran? Wow. Wow, okay. I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep this one down. Unless I use a hacking drone. I'm kind of trying to save drone parts now. I'm going to purposefully only do one damage here. Keep him off of weapons repair. Ooh. 
My name is Mr. Randerson. That's that's my real name. If we're gonna use a we're gonna use a, a matrix quote. That's that's my that's my matrix name, Mr. Randerson. Have you gotten any training from all this? Three dodges, not bad. Will he die? I don't know. But if I see him, if I see the weapons get fully trained or fully repaired, this might not be a crew kill. Oh, we maxed out our shield training though. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to use a hacking drone if he finishes repairing. Okay, okay. Got one more weapon thing to charge there. The repair, I should say. Come on, die. FTL's still delayed. Did he die as he repaired that? Because this should be... Ha! Alright, he died right as he repaired it. Nice. Uh, was this not safe if we disabled engines and shield too? I don't understand the question, Ionic Dota. I don't understand the question, sorry. If I disabled shield and engine two. Engines and shield two. Yeah, there are crew and engines who will repair it. Oh, you didn't know that there's a crew in there. Okay, yes, there's crew and engines, so they'll repair that. The way you kill this is you damage O2 down to zero because there's nobody repair that and you wait because there's one crew that can repair piloting shields, weapons, and there's one crew in the engines room. Uh, I haven't done the O2 upgrade yet. Okay, well I'm gonna hack shields, try to one-shot this guy to make this fight go quickly then. No cloaking, thankfully. Big giant missile, not so thankfully. I don't know that we one-shot this guy. This could be sketchy here. Not a one-shot. Okay. We should still have enough time, though. Maybe should hit shields, but... This makes it safe. As long as all of our crew don't get vented. Okay, we're good, we're good. Give me my O2 back. My O2. Did you know the rewards are different depending on what system you choose there? No, I did not know that. Not having access to your own O2 system seems like an interesting design choice. <laughs> yes. That's why we call it the coffin ship, Alicia Rome. They're just waiting to die. Might have been tempting to let him take your shields for this one instead. I guess so, with Zeldin's shield, yeah. Yeah, maybe that would have been a better choice. Um, can I deal with... Worrying Radiation? And also, do I have anything to sell? Because I'd like to do one or both of these upgrades for protection, but... We've seen one store this sector, and getting uh, cloaking this sector would be amazing. It'd be really early, though. Let's do the O2 upgrade, at least. In case we have one of the other two of those events where they get free hacking on my O2. O2 is low reward because it's an easy one to do without, if you recall. Okay. All right, well, I chose the easy way, then. And don't even feel a little bit bad about it. Nice. Uh, okay, engine's dead, so we can't run yet. That's good. I think O2 is usually the correct choice, unless you're feeling really confident. Well, I mean, I had Zeldin Shield and hacking, so I probably should have done... A different one, but to be honest, I didn't know that there was a different word for those. Maybe somebody's told me before. Um, you can tell me the rewards, and maybe I can consider if we have another slug sector if I want to make a different choice. Alright, if this is a store, I can go one, two, three, four, five, and maybe not dive. If this is a store, two jumps behind my head that are non nebulas that could be stores. Actually, I don't even know if I get that in five with one of these being a non-nebula. 
I just need to hope that one of these nebula jumps is a store. I feel like it's almost guaranteed, but... Alright, Rockman poses captain is potentially free stuff or a ship fight, I think. Oh, it's a store! <laughs> He's so right! I forgot that this could be a store. Alright, man. I want this. I want this. Wouldn't mind one of those. But we'll just take cloaking. Alright. Um... I don't really have anything to sell. We are very low on power. Q... Um... I watch FTL making some joke about Rand never buys power. Um, I don't want to do this. This store being here is actually not great now because one, two, three, four is probably my best route. But I guess I won't spend any more scrap even though I'm thinking about buying like a drone part. I guess I'll go one, two, three, four. O2 is the easiest way out for the coffin ship, at least. The best reward on that hacking thing is weapons or hacking blue option, which is always high scrap. Deals is only high scrap if you get a crew kill, medium otherwise. Oxygen is medium regardless. All right. Okay. I feel like there's very few situations. Well, I guess, I guess if I get that event and I'm a boarding ship, then letting them take out my weapons is probably okay. Although if you have boarding support weapons that you need, uh, please don't make me lose a jump. Okay. Alright, at least it didn't make me lose a jump. I'll take it. Let's try to, uh... Save some drone parts here. Now we got cloak and hacking. We can potentially save consumables. That's a firebomb. Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't really need any other, need any other training unless I put my rock back on piloting. So now I kind of just need power. If I can just get power, some dodge, we're looking great. You have long range scanners like that other shit store did? No. Okay. Got a couple power. Not power. That's repair. I will buy a couple power though. So, um. Go one power, one engine for right now. Backup battery or engines, have our cloaking and hacking ready to go. Okay. This started out as a salty run. Because that first jump, man. But... We cannot just get wrecked by crazy Zone Shield Bypass free borders, but we have mind control. We should be in decent shape here. I didn't get long range scanners, so... I think I still take Nebula so I don't have Forced Abandon 6, which is probably my worst possible thing here. Let's go Nebula even without the long range scanners. And if no early store, I'll buy more power. Okay. It's so quiet in the Nebula. There's no music! Why are you so quiet? Making me nervous, game. Alright. Oh, auto assault ship, eh? Uh, what do we hack here? If it's double offensive drones, should we hack drone control, do we think, chat? I think we do because we're safe versus ion and heavy laser. Yeah, let's go ahead and hack the drones. Still don't say anything a 2012 game holds up this well in 2023. Well, it just goes to show that what makes a good game is not graphics or story or uh, I don't I don't know all the other things. It's it's just gameplay, just gameplay, and this game. In my opinion, is the best roguelike that's ever existed. 
roguelike, roguelite, whatever the actual genre is. If you make a game, although maybe what makes this game so good is how punishing it is, I don't know. I don't know what actually makes this game hold up so well. But it really does hold up. Gameplay is key, yes. You're stupid, why hack the drone control? Uh, you're not stupid, because... That enemy ship's offense was one ion and one heavy laser. So that one ion with two Zoltans and shields could never actually do damage to me with a heavy laser because the Zoltans protect from the ions going offline. If I hack the drone control and do just enough damage to get even one drone offline, we're very unlikely to take damage. That's my short, probably not very good explanation for why I chose to do that. Okay, this one we get to fight. That's good. Honestly, maybe it was better to hack piloting or weapons or shields or something, but... In my opinion, the scariest system in that fight was the drone control. So getting that offline made me feel safest. Not sure if that was the best hack, but with two offensive drones, that seemed the safest play to me. Usually in FTL, at least in Harmonopa streaking, you're trying to limit the damage you take, even if it makes a fight take longer or something. And so removing an off enemy's offense is your main goal in almost every fight. You totally agree there's just nothing like FTL? Yeah. What's up, Mr. Schmutz? Schmutz. Uh, okay, let's see here. So there's a store. All right. And what would I want from a store? Other weapons, I guess. Good augments. So... Just plan on going something like one, two, three, four. And yeah, this could be a very good uh, Uncharted Nebula if we don't have a bunch of empty jumps. People are still developing and updating a game that was released in 1986 called NetHack. Yeah, not familiar with that one. Here, he's running, so I'm going to hack his shields, so I can guarantee do two damage to these four systems here. Eh, maybe engines over mind control, since I have the mind control counter. And then if he's got level three piloting, well, I'm going to aim my flak at piloting anyway, because flak's inaccuracy is its biggest weakness, especially against auto scouts. So if I shoot my circle here... It's most likely to not hit nothing. I, I, but that was not a very good sentence, but hopefully you understand what I'm saying. It's a little late on that, though. Okay, good. Nice one, Sean. Uh, you've played NetHack? I don't... I've probably heard of that game. I'm pretty sure I've never played it. NetHack is a roguelike text game. Okay, I am not a big text game player. Okay. I say as I play FTL that has a bunch of text to tell the story. But I think that's a different thing than a text game. All right, I'll take the free stuff. I like me some free stuff. Okay, empty jump is empty. It's played in a terminal window. There are emulators that provide a GUI overlay. One of the good things about FTL is that it doesn't have a lot of text, yeah. Heavy Laser 2 is a very good weapon. Firebomb for phase one crew kills. I know what I watch FTL would vote for. You're currently building battle maps for D&D just to be suitably random. Nice. Also, you don't read the text in FTL. <laughs> I sure don't. <laughs> um, Heavy Laser 2 is a better weapon than Firebomb, I think, but Firebomb is quite good for crew killing phase one. We've seen in many, many... Uh, things here, as if this is even a choice. Well, if I'm not memeing, 
One thing I will say about Heavy Laser 2 is it's very expensive to get online, because that takes level 8 weapons to fully upgrade into. We are only in Sector 5, so we have time. Rand is paid to lead, not to read. How many planets were there in this system? What? I don't get the question. You just got done lecturing and you want to sleep for a thousand years. Okay. ASM, or ABM, always be memeing. Yeah, small bomb would be a lot easier to get online than either of these with only one power cost. But if I'm thinking about weapons for the boss fight, which is what I'm thinking about, this is better for crew killing. This is better for ship killing. Isn't that one of the text boxes? How many planets? Oh, you're talking about... Yeah, one, that's a slug thing. That's not That's not in Uncharted Nebula. And that's moons, yeah. 37 missiles and cloaking. You can crew kill everything with that firebomb. Well, having the option to crew kill is not bad. I think I'm going to take the middle option. This is the cheapest. This is the most expensive. This one gives us a tool for something we currently don't have a tool for, I would say. And also, it's a meme, so there you go. I watch FTL. Happy meme day to you. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And also, we've had a lot of valuable firebomb phase one crew kills in recent runs, so I can't really be too memey when I say firebomb's actually a pretty good weapon. It's actually pretty good. It's, it's it's done it's done some good work for us in past runs so I'm gonna see if I can do this without using a hacking drone which is very greedy okay still haven't cloaked yet so that's why I'm being so greedy here also I'm just always greedy with my drone parts. Beautiful. Um, burn them all. Free fire beam. Next jump. Okay. Why is firebomb a meme? It's so good at intimidating settlers. <laughs> because it doesn't do hull damage. Because after phase one of the boss, it's feels a lot less useful. That's why I call it a meme. Well, we did just get a map. Hmm. Can't be a worse meme than Glaive was Vulcan on Stealth Be True. <laughs> Technically true, yeah. How many memes in orbit? 69,420. Hmm, it's a good number. All right, well, since we don't see another store, let's go double power for the half power jump we're about to do here. Um, which we're going to have uh, seven power for is not nearly enough. Okay, so I think what we're going to do is have you guys start here. Going into this next half power jump. You can get quite good at of usage out of firebomb with hacking and mind control. Quite true, quite true. And I'm I'm only being a little facetious when I call fire beam, fire bomb a meme. It has a lot of value. Crew kills are so good that it's it's not really a meme to say fire bomb's good. It's just it's not a weapon I would normally say I'm looking for when things like black ones versus laser twos, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All the other OP weapons exist, you know. Okay, I'm gonna hack weapons here. Maybe I should have hacked shield, but I saw that burst laser two, heavy laser one. That's some S tier weapons that guy's got. All right, we can cloak this. I'm gonna attempt to reactively cloak if we get hit twice with the first two shots. Just dodge them all, so easy. Easy game is easy. You were here when Rand bought power. Makes make a note of the day, TS. Recently had a Rock B run, and you still use Firebomb Phase 2 slash 3, just set some fires and leave them in the flagship so random systems were burning down while I dealt with the rest of this fight. Yeah. Recently watched the Firebeam plus Biobeam Slugs Cruiser run, and that combo just absolutely wrecked everything. 
<laughs> uh, you're just bad at the game. Right now, you're still struggling on Mantis A. I don't care. Um, it's a difficult game, so don't... I would not say you're bad if you're having a hard time. This game is punishing. I have some ridiculous amount of thousands of hours, and I still say this game is stupidly difficult. Because it's just, it's designed to be that way. And some people on YouTube will say things like, Rand, you blame RNG for everything. Well, this game has a lot of RNG that can screw you. So, even at the highest level of gameplay, this game can punish you because you get unlucky. I won't say it's like all luck or anything, but... Good job, Neo. Good dodges. Let good me dog, fucking hit good him! Dog. Come on, man! Beautiful. Wow, we one-shot him once we got through the zone shield. Beautiful. Holy good reward, too. Boarding is surprisingly technical as well. It's quite a different beast from gunships. Yeah, if, if Mantis A is your first ship where you're having to really get into boarding, there's a lot of technique. It's a, it's a good way to say it, Mike. You love that guy's name. Rand reads out his message and then says, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care is his name. Sorry, for those who are watching on YouTube later. I don't say I don't care to your message. That is that person's name. RNG is the fun of it, though, if it wasn't as punishing. At times, you don't think it would be enjoy as enjoyable. That's what Britnoth says all the time. A lot of times when I rage, Britnoth would say, but if it wasn't punishing, would you, would you still be playing it? And that's probably true that I probably wouldn't be playing it. It doesn't stop me from raging, though. The better you are, the less luck you need to win. But nobody can always win forever. Yeah. Only as many as 124 times in a row, or whatever Hollow's uh, world record is. Ignore. I don't want to sell drone parts. Well, that was a bunch of empty jumps. Just got back from the game after, like, five-year break, and they are trying to unlock every ship. Yeah. Back the Rebels. Um, yeah. I don't want to hack, but I should. I should. I could probably crew kill this, too, if I was patient. But now that I have Flak Albert, I'm feeling less patient. Like, okay, we have we have everything we need to, we need to win. Not force a bunch of crew kills that I don't really need to get. Steal supplies? Alright, well, we're just horrible people. We stole some vaccines. We're just war crime committers. The luck in FTL comes a lot down to experience and game knowledge and how to manipulate and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, most... What I would say most... At the highest level of FTL, I would say... What luck mostly has to deal with would be the enemy ship's power that you run into. Rebel Stronghold, nice. And when you run into certain events, you can overcome most everything. And even the things that I just said, you can often um, overcome. But I would th say the, thing, the things that luck can kill you by are... What ship you're fighting, so like Stealth B, the worst luck is double double beams, like mini beam plus beam drone before you've had a chance to buy shields. And so that has to do with, you know, a ship fight when you fight it. So I feel like most of the luck that can kill you at the highest level has to do with probably sector one to three ship fights and certain events, like the shield hack event on almost every ship. I don't have long-range scanners, so we're trying to find look-around, which is at a non-distress, non-ship fight. So it's just going to be kind of a complete guess, unless we find a store with long-range scanners instantly. You guess the luck is weapon rolls. If the ship rolls a breach missile or burst two heavy one. Yeah. All right. Uh, free borders that must have Dalton tail Uh, with teleporter. Okay. 
Kill your friends. Um, I'm gonna attempt to greedy, be greedy and not hack here again. Really, is he running? Okay, it should be delayed. Okay, good. Uh, nope. You offered me a map, which I don't think is a possible reward. Welcome back, Sleeping Dragon. Uh, we were 11 scraps short of scanners earlier. Yeah. It's very common for people to say there's nothing I could have done anybody would lose there, when in reality that's almost never true. <laughs> Yes. The thing I will say, though, is with how difficult this game is, sometimes those situations, the only people who would have been able to win would have been the people like Hollow or Farb or the best players in the world. So, but yes, probably for newer players, that's, that's true a lot of the time. Maybe even most of the time, I don't know. In hindsight, it's always 2020. Yeah, but the better you get at the game, the more often you can make that correct decision, I would say. It's also very true for a lot of very experienced players. True, true, yeah. All right, let's hack, let's hack weapons here. This guy's offense is pretty insane. Is the streak over? Uh, no, Gunther. Not yet. Not yet, thankfully. Uh, this is the 14th ship. Yep. Just remember, Crow Lanius B. You don't think anyone gets out of that. Amazing to watch. I need to watch that one. I feel like you've talked about that a lot of times, and I don't know if I've ever actually seen it. Do I take these nebula jumps or not? I mean, the look around could just be right there, and I've already missed it. If I get four nebula jumps, I do get ten instead of eight. So one, two, three... I think I am just going to go ahead and take the nebula jumps here. Yeah, if anybody's got a link to Crowlania's B death, I'm pretty sure it's been linked before. I just don't think I've ever actually watched it. You're welcome to link it in the chat. Um, I'm going to do one flak volley, and then I'll decide if I hack here. With this triple X, I shouldn't need to hack. Okay. Single hits, I feel like I do need to have. Your favorite sector you love look around? Yeah, me too. I just don't know if we're going to get it. No long range scanner, so it's going to be all RNG if we find it. I mean, RNG and line planning around guessing which empty jumps could possibly get it. Um, you had the best Rebel Stronghold ever the other day. Look around was the very first jump, and it was literally the only option to go to on the first jump. That's, that's ideal. Nice, nice. It's this video right here for Crow's Death. Okay. Wow, it's only a 23 minute video, and I think it's a Sector 1 death or something. I'll have to... Do you have a timestamp for it? Crow's Lanius B was one of the most vicious losses you've seen, but you think even that was survivable? It was highly technical, and some people analyzed it completely incorrectly, huh? It's the first jump? Okay. And I assume he does micro-pausing, so it's just a, a long first jump as he's trying to outplay a really bad situation, I'm guessing. What's up, Nietzsche? I have a lot of scrap. Uh, I'm hoping for a store. I don't see one yet. Let's get hack three. 
shield value power for now. I'm not gonna do the shield yet, because what up a store with another flak or something? 12 minutes is the entire fight. He paused a lot. Okay, yeah. Running. Okay. Okay, this, in this situation, since he's running, I'm gonna hack shields. God, don't be level 3 cloaking running away. That's just stupid BS, man. God. He has level 3 piloting with level 3 cloaking. There's a chance I don't actually kill him before he gets out. This is... It's one of the most bullshit events in the game right here, by the way. Running away with level 3 cloaking is just stupid. Okay, it's level level 2 piloting, thankfully. Level 2 max piloting? Okay. Or level 2 max cloaking. You can't believe it's Halloween already. Okay. Low reward, but at least we don't lose a jump. When they're all connected, you think Mike said piloting can only be max level 2. Okay. Level 2 max piloting on the connected room auto ships and rebel, rebel riggers slash disruptors. Okay. Well, I'm glad you all are here to help tell me that because I'm just, I'm just never going to remember that. All right. Check the store. I can't believe it's not butter. All right, Grandma Tarkin, are you... What's that guy's name? Fabio? Zoltan Shield Bypass. They must have it. Oh, wait. No, I could get it. Uh, I don't care about Repair Bomb. I do care about all the fuel. I was hoping for Zoltan. Uh, Long-range scanners or... A weapon I cared more about. I don't really care about any of those. This whole laser 2 is not bad. Maybe something to use after we've crew killed phase one? I still have how many more sectors? Two more sectors? One more sector after this. What's up, Grima? Did I encounter the Federation flagship construction event yet? Not yet. I'm still trying to find look around. No, not swarm. Um... I'm gonna buy that. Get our third shield. Basically, my thought is phase one of the boss, we flak, hull, firebomb. Phase two and three of the boss, we go flak, hull, halberd, if I don't find any other weapons. So this might be a waste because I might end up using something different if I get something different. But if I get no other weapon choices, this is definitely good for the boss. I feel like we have time to get enough upgrades for these things. Cloaking running away. Hey, let's let's look at all the variety of ships we get to fight today, everybody. Isn't it such a great variety? Such varied ships. So connected rooms. Okay. Hopefully I can get cloaking down. Beautiful. Uh, level three. Let's see. Almost the exact same weapon setup, too. Is this gonna be another minimum scrap reward? Is it just nothing but forward scouts? Jesus Christ. Okay. Hoping for more free flags. Thank you for the flag bits, Nietzsche. Oh, <laughs> four free flag bits. I like it. Alright, so we get. Six if we go through two more nebulas. So six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. So basically, I'm committed to a route that includes these three jumps, and those are our only choices for under construction flash. It's a lot of bits, it is. Thank you, Nietzsche. <laughs> Another NG. Uh, piling. They really want me to replace I'm Garcia, don't they? No, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm only replacing you if I put the rock there. Good 
Good luck today. Thanks, Pseudo Drifter. Appreciate that. We had bad luck on our first jump this run, but apart from that... Again, as much as I want to, I can't complain about this run. But we've had so many free crew after losing my first free... my first golden pilot that... kind of more than made up for that. Well, this is our last chance to look around. Are you gonna screw me or help me out here, game? Look around. Damn. Screwed. Unlucky. Unlucky. I know. Sad for no look around. You say bad luck on the first jump, but you just got outplayed by the AI following you because of AI rules. Oh, uh, sure, sure. I'm not going to argue about that. Whatever. <laughs> I... Yes, yes. Out, outplayed by the AI. That's what it was. It's totally that. Um... No looky lose in this rebel stronghold. That's right. Got another cloaking. Okay. All right, I'll just hack the shields. You have a missile, and I don't like it. And I don't like it. No, sir, I don't like it. Man, good frickin' dodges, though. Beautiful. Um... Uh... I'm gonna get to cloak the next missile, but the one after that probably hits me before I can fire. Oh, come on, man, these fucking dodges. Should I get this down before the missile fires? Nice. Uh, like technically, if you had run to sensors or something wild, they wouldn't have followed you that far. Okay. Sure. Sure. I should have remembered the AI of my Zoltan, who is in Heal Bay, being killed while being healed by a Mantis plus Rock, that if I ran to O2, the AI would follow me. I should have remembered that in the middle of hard mode no pausing. So that is me getting outplayed. You'll forgive me if I'm not beating myself up for not outplaying that. NG or Uncharted Nebula? Man, so many nebulas. Um, do I care about NG Sector? I have a shield drone to sell. Um, I want more scrap, and these are kind of two of the worst choices for scrap gains. I know, how could I not remember? It's so obvious. It's so obvious. Just like remembering that auto scouts with all the rooms connected never have more than two engines. I mean, piloting levels. I, I don't know why I can't remember all that. It's only 8,000 bajillion things to remember. Um, four shield NG ships with multiple defense drones. Or a bunch of empty uncharted nebula fights. Or um, um, uncharted nebula jumps. NG for blue options. Go NG, I guess. ABM, that's all you need. Uh, always be memeing, that's what that means? Okay. I do want two more weapon upgrades and I need power, I need engines and power. Still do need a lot of upgrades. I need scrap, so I hope I hope this is not an empty NG sector. Uh, yes, this, uh, hacking, right? Oh, no. Um... I thought this was the hacking one. Okay, so human gets me a mantis. Mantis gets me scrap. Mind control gets me something. Let me look this one up. I just need most scrap possible. Found malfunctioning mantis. FTL found malfunctioning mantis. All right. Human 
So, Mantis is low scrap. Mind Control is medium scrap. Okay. Alright. I did not know that Mind Control would give me medium scrap reward. Glad I checked. Whew. 50 scrap is medium in Sector uh, 7, huh? Wow. Sleeping Dragon remembers. Man. Sleeping Dragon, I actually knew that that was higher scrap. You are... You're, you are like a computer, Sleeping Dragon. I do not know how you have a memory like that. That's amazing. Yes, let me look up what gets me the most richness. That's that's what I like to do. Um, potential crew kill here if I... Um, turn on my firebomb. Problem is his missile's still online. Come on, these fucking dodges, man. Alright, so I think I'd need to do firebomb. If I do this... Open this door, come in there, firebomb these guys after they do a bunch of damage there. There we go, firebomb value. There we go. Not the crew kill. Double reward. Hey, NG crew threat unresolved. Okay. I totally forget about that event because it seems so rare that I actually get it. Oh, you remember because you had to look that event up about five or six runs ago? Oh, nice. There's an annoying white bar at the top of the Twitch mobile app. What is going on here? Hmm, I don't know. ABM, bro. ABM. Always be memeing. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, I forget what the second part of this quest is, but I, I, I do believe it involves a reward, so... Um, okay, we probably want to end up going out around like that. What was that event? I think this is... Ah, gosh. Stealth unlock event, maybe? Or maybe not. I, I just, I can't keep track of all the events, to be honest. <laughs> Especially the ones that I get, like, once every six runs or something. Oh, damn it. Did I need, like, level 2 sensors or some BS there? God damn it. It's apparently fucking nothing, is what it is if you don't have the upgrade for it. God damn it, a map. All right, well. There's all my stores by the exit beacon. You looked that one up recently, too, because you were annoyed at how long it's been since you got the NG Blue option on it. Oh, I can't believe that the jump is just empty. I probably needed long-range scanners or upgraded sensors for it, to be honest. But, oh, that's effing annoying, man. Because I think that's a really good reward. Oh. I didn't think I needed to look that one up, man. I don't think I needed to look that up. That's a fuel deal, I would have taken it. Uh, I watch FTL says your ship receives 35 repairs. You receive medium scrap with resources. Bit of an odd repair decision. What would what would I have needed to have gotten that? What upgrade did I need to not have it be empty? Does it say on what you're looking at there? Because my option was listen or leave or something, and I didn't have any other blue options. All right, good. That gets that gets us fuel. Five, four, three, two. Our 
firebomb charging for now. So it was level two sensors or long range scanners. Damn it. Damn it. Well, there's an argument for who is it? Scottish Pingu always says I need to buy level two sensors more often. God. Should be a should be a decent crew kill here, I believe. Keep this on fire. Does that pull that guy? Yes, it does. Look at Fireball, man. It's doing work. Why do I ever doubt you, Fireball? I should never doubt you and your ability to commit war crimes. Nice. Nice. Uh, good chunk of ship fights in the Senji sector? Yeah, that is good. And the map actually useful that we got. Um, 54 missiles. Sensors for that event is a total crapshoot. There are four different outcomes, and sensors long-range scanners only affects one of them. Well, I mean, this late in the run, I would want level 2 sensors anyway, so I feel like it would be worth If I If I knew... It's one of those things where I can't... Because there are so many events... And so few of them specifically need a sensors upgrade. And I get that event so rarely that I just... It didn't even register that I might need something to get. Ah, uh, to not be screwed by nothing. Just be screwed and get nothing there, you know? That event can also pop with a ship instead of being empty. It's a huge pool. Yeah. Oh, freaking pirate rigger at a... Pulsar. Um, I think we're good. I think we're good. Alright, hack the drone control because I'm afraid of offensive drones with Pulsar. Although the Zoltan, the double Zoltan and shields helps us a lot. I actually didn't think about that. Way to go, double Zoltans and shields. So good. Firebomb being a champ. Uh, 30 crew damage from Firebomb is really nice. Yeah. We're going to a store so I don't have to have my shields up here. I was my favorite FTL streamer. Is that me, Banana Man? Oh, I'm great. Better now that you're here complimenting me. Flattery will get you everywhere. Going clone bay. Going into sector eight. Meh. Meh. I think I'd rather spend my scrap on weapon and power and value point upgrades in a clone bay right now. Much as I like clone bay. Check what's at this other store. Woo, ion intruder and a pulsar so you can have random ionization with your random ionization. <laughs> yes. Hey, you didn't take a clone bay. You can still get a clone bay. I could also get a fire beam. We're not going fire beam and firebomb. It's a little too much fire even for me. Man, even for me. All right, let's go ahead and get weapon power. So now we can do flak, hole laser, firebomb for a crazy crew killing phase one, and then flak, hole, halberd for fast ship killing phase two and three. And that's the plan. That is the current plan for building here for our boss fight build. See if Exit Beacon's also a store. Did he just say he'd rather buy power? I did. I did say that. Sam the station. Free stuff. Worth a dive for an extra ship fight? I'd say yes. I'd say yes. Our dive build is good. 
Fire Beam is inferior to Fire Beam anyways. I mean, that's debatable because Fire Beam is not dodgeable. But Fire Bomb is faster charging, right? That is double missiles. Okay. At least they fire at the same time. Is that double Artemis or double Leto? I am unsure, actually. Doesn't matter. Even if they hit, it's fake damage because we have a repair coming up and we are at full health. I don't think I spent a single scrap on repair that's running. Currently, we are at full health from free repairs, I assume. We should get both Firebeam and Firebomb to compare. <laughs> yeah. Totally worth spending my scrap to compare. Okay, Cloak 2. Some value points here. Firebomb is better when you have 52 missiles. Uh, yeah. Would you mind making me part of the crew? Um, is that the end of the run? I okay, you can be a mantis. Uh, banana man, since you were so nice and said I was your favorite. Just for you. Uh, as you pause switch for a while, how or when are these hilarious sound samples, these F Doge's man triggered? Uh, they're triggered by missiles. Basically, it's a mod called FTL Missiles created by uh, RPG Nerdos. And it triggers when we either get hit by a missile, either us or our enemies get hit by a missile, or a missile is dodged. This is the best mod that has ever been created by anybody ever in the history of ever. That's how good it is. Uh, at least we can all agree there are no chain lasers. Oh, uh, I'll agree that fire beams and fire bombs are no chain lasers. True, they are not those things. That is a factually true statement. Really great, you love it? Yeah, it's... RPG Nerdos has somehow been able to do something that nobody else has really been able to do and that is while playing vanilla ftl make me laugh when i get hit by a missile occasionally not every time but even more than zero times getting me to laugh at a missile and vanilla ftl is kind of amazing that is a forced dive if i don't go around thank you for the 20 bits commodore paul appreciate that Those cheer go to RPG Nerdos. <laughs> I'll, I'll pass the 20 cents along. Always better better to laugh occasionally than never. Very true, very true. Alright, so no... Not enough time, so I don't need a crew kill. You should have zero goddamn dodge with this shit. I was waiting to see if the beam was going to hit before the missile, and we dodged the missile anyway, so thankfully it's good. Oof, one off lethal. I had one Zoltan shield as that missile crossed the threshold. It's almost a big missile hit. Okay, now I'm forced to dive if I want to go to the repair. So the game just is going to be forced to dive, whatever I do. Okay. Um, nothing really to sell at the store. Is it even worth going to the store if I don't want to sell anything? Might as well go buy their fire beam. <laughs> no. I have value points to buy. Maybe I can get this repair if I beeline it to the base. Maybe. Honestly, I might need to go buy drone parts, but nine should be enough. Another flak. Honestly, any weapon I buy feels like it would be a side grade. Maybe a whole laser two, I could get something better, but what we have is good enough. I'd rather just get scrap and get upgrades. 
We have one firebomb. What about second firebomb? Alright, alright. Alright, Pip. I don't think they know about second firebomb, Pip. Okay. Alright, I just pressed the pause button. Thank God. I make it undoable because I almost just wrecked my streak. Thank God I can debind the thing, because that would have sucked. Hope that. Alright, this is not enough time because there's ships in the background, so that's why I'm looking to crew guilt. Good. Good, lets you streak alive on your on our favorite Zeltan. It is. It is good to be alive, especially the first jump of this run was the scary one. All right, not enough time. I'll show you not enough time. I got all the time in the world. Why go to repair when you can repair at store? True, I could go to the store and spend scrap instead of gain scrap on repairs that I currently don't need. I could have done that. Tech Race Store has all the best stuff, lol. Don't think he knows about second fireball pip. <laughs> Alright. Alright, here's our force dive. One, two, three. One, two. Two, three, four. I don't think he gets there till four. Hmm. Alright, what value points do I value the highest? Shields over sensors. Get the sensors. We might be able to get all of those value points. This guy's got a lot of crew. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven crew on his ship. Holy shnikes. Be miss. Get Dumble Doged. Wait for cloaking to wear off. We can run at any time, but Let's see if we can score farm by killing him. Sure, seems good. Let me see if we get hit by this first. We dodge it. Nice. So I can wait for my cooldowns. Alright. Looks like we should be able to get this repair, although one, two, three, one, two. Oh, okay. I think we can go one, two, three and meet him here. Yeah, I think that works. You gotta get that single free fuel. Yes, so worth. Uh, it's not not enough time. I could save a drone part here, which that I don't need to do, but I could. So let's do it. Oh, some pretty good doges. Oh, frickin' hell! High intruder drone. All right. All right, that should be enough for our uh, shield value. Oh, he didn't take damage. Okay. Dive kill to show dominance. Yes. It's a revenge for the first jump kill uh, our Zoltan that died. I, f I forget who the Zoltan that was that died. Sorry about whoever you were who died, but I forgot your name. <laughs> they were so important to us, whatever his name, their name was. All right, there we go. So we have enough scrap to get even extra value points. Um, I think what I'll just do is get power so I can do level 202 for phase two. The plan is to go black fire hole laser for phase one for a bunch of crew kills. We hack shields, firebomb shields, hole laser missiles. That's the plan. His name is Robert Paulson. 
Uh, that seems like a reference to something that I don't get. Feels bad that we've entered three crew and still have a human. True, I agree. That does feel bad. <laughs> we could have delayed hack, which could screw us. But we have safe place to jump. Yeah. Literal, literally the, the base to jump to, so... Oh, that's a Fight Club reference. Gotcha. That's a great hack. Did we? Did he dodge my fireball? Freaking dodged it, didn't he? Right, at least we got the missile down. Somehow my power got screwed up in my shields. So it's fine. It's fine. It's the triple ion bullshit, isn't it? Oh, come on, game. Holy crap, I think we just got freaking raided or something. Please don't play. Jesus. He's dodged every firebomb so far. Firebomb is so good. Best weapon in the game. Oh my god. Oh my god. Community cultivated. Oh my gosh. Wait, did I just... Do we just get partnered? What? Oh my god, is that partner? Law partnership activated. It's oh my god, okay. Uh, this is the worst time for this to happen. I'm so distracted during the boss fight. No pause. Uh, oh my god. Okay, let me kill this thing. Hold on a second. <laughs> this is the best thing that's ever happened to the stream at the worst possible time to happen at the stream. Okay. Holy crap. Is that... Holy crap. Did we just... What? Did we get raided or... What is all these random names saying partnership activated? What is this? Uh... Oh my gosh. Uh, hold on. Let me check my phone for email, because, holy crap, that would be amazing. Check my email. I'm doing it right now. I'm doing it right now. Oh, my God. Did we just hit partner? Community cultivated, affiliate obliterated, long have we waited, partnership activated. Oh, my God. Is this Twitch staff or what? <laughs> oh, my God. This is insane. Those are Twitch staff. This is amazing. My phone now won't load this, apparently. Uh, let me repair stuff while... Is there a check mark next to my name? Oh, man, this is amazing. This is amazing. And my email will not load, I swear. You are invited to Twitch partner. Oh, my God, this is so awesome. Holy crap. And my phone is, like, the slowest it's ever been. Holy shnikes. Thank you so much. Twitch chat and Twitch staff and Twitch in general. This is what my phone's doing right now, by the way. It's just not even loading. Oh my gosh. All the FTL was worth it. Sweetest cooking coming up. Oh, this is amazing. My phone's not dead. It just it won't load. My phone is old and sucks. Ramsey just gifted 20 subs out of nowhere. Dog dog. 100 bits. Oh my god, this is amazing. All right, this is holy shnikes. It's insane. Thank you for the 20 gifted subs. Um, congrats, partner. Thank you. I. Oh man, you're invited. Get started. Okay. All you need to do is go to your dashboard, click on the settings tab, follow the instructions. Can I do this on stream? Or will I not? Can I do Can we do it live? Let's finish this run, then we'll do it. Let's do that. Finish this run. I have one more phase to go. Two more phases to go. I... <laughs> uh, this is like the most the craziest I've ever done on stream. Had on stream before. It's crazy. You thought it was bots? I was afraid we had bots too. Alright, let's uh, let's let's finish this run here. Because uh, it'll take us like three minutes. Dedication, respect. On this run of all runs, too. Best stream ever. Thought I got view bought it. It's the coolest boss. Yes, this is the Twitch. Um, 
staff bots. Thank you for 20 gifted from subs from Nietzsche. Oh my god, I'm so verklempt right now. We need to crew kill two guys if we can. Okay. Uh, we have a boarding drone. Deal with him. Open the doors. Cloak. Now. Back in Neo over here. Freaking Neo. Uh, you are a beep bop boop beep bop bot. Yes. View bots, best bots, right? Uh, okay, do I delay this to crew kill? Let's not have you die. It is so hard for me to focus right now. Okay, all right, that's perfect. Leave one guy alive. Frozer GM, thank you for getting two subs. Relax and breathe. Okay. All right, clean face two. Oh my god, this is crazy. Pseudo Drifter with 100 bits. Oh my god, this is insane. Stay on target. Must be fun to be staff and just see happiness all day. Well, they probably have to deal with everybody complaining all day, too. Like all the people like me who's like, Twitch doesn't read our applications, they're just robots. Oh my gosh. Oh man. I this is how long have I been streaming? Many years. This has been the goal for this entire time. I cannot believe we finally hit that goal. I'm so excited right now. That's a different department that reads the complaints. <laughs> Alright, alright, let's let's finish this run and uh Hopefully I'm allowed on stream to show me going into my, what did it say? Go into your dashboard and do whatever. I just hope it doesn't show personal information. I, whatever. You are the hype department. You deserve it. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Any partnership news? Yeah, I got good news, chat. I got good news. Today's a good day. Frickin' Neo over here. Frickin' Neo. Right, let's finish this. Finish this. Oh, he doged. My control counter. Cloak. Slightly late on that one. Uh, Banana Man with 10 gifted subs. This is insane. This is insane. Freaking Neo. Thank you for the 100 bits. Abel. You just need to apparently play this game more. This game is hard. But people like watching it. So, uh, I can't be mad at FTL. Freaking got us partner, man. That's insane. GG knocked the microphone down, dropped the mic. Freaking partnership time. If that isn't a GG cookie time, I have never seen one. Holy crap. GG cookie time. Thank you for the Twitch staff raid. Oh my god, I cannot believe. 14 in a row, and frickin' partner. I am so verklempt right now. This is so amazing. I have, I'm like, shaken. I'm, like, shaken right now. What ship was that? I don't even know. That was Zoltan A. Well, I'm in mark it down on my spreadsheet here. Oh, man, you've never wished, witnessed someone being partnered live? Grats. Thank you so much, Vapor. This is your first time seeing credits in FTL. You've never managed to defeat the final ship. Yeah, it's a hard game. We're, this is... This is a very hard game, and that was a really good score. Um, 50 ships defeated. Oh my god, I tried to get you yesterday, but you were too on schedule that you ended stream right before I was ready. Okay, Angela, well, <laughs> this is better because uh, there's more viewers today than yesterday when we were playing Hollow Knight, so. I need Twitch staff high YouTube spam, get the transition screen up. Uh, this one, so everybody on YouTube can see all the Twitch spam. Well, actually, this is a good screen. I'm gonna go to this screen while I go into my partnership onboarding thing. Just in case any personal information is showing up. Let me go into... Let me go into dashboard. Hi, YouTube! <laughs> oh, that's crazy. For those who are watching on YouTube later, all those little... What are these things called? Little... Uh... Wrenches are uh, apparently Twitch staff. That's amazing. All right, so what do I do? I go into here. Uh, go to your dashboard. Click on the settings tab. New. Uh, follow the instructions you see. I guess it's partner. Review and accept the terms. You're updated. Oh, this is crazy. This is crazy. I don't know. Do I have to do this right now or can I do this off stream? Because I feel like I can't. <laughs> Review and accept terms. Um, 
Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Uh, as a reminder, you must accept the terms monetized streamer agreement to be eligible for Partner Plus. Update agreement will be publicly available on Twitch for anyone to see at any time. Live Twitch legal text review. <laughs> I know, I'm actually reading the terms. From time to time, make changes. You'll know these changes apply. To everyone who has agreed to the monetized streamer agreement, we will provide you notice of any changes. Update agreement. Uh, am I allowed to read this on stream? Surely this is, like, public. Whenever you like. Okay. Yes, this is stream of reading Twitch partner terms. Uh, includes previously announced updates for service. Update agreement changes your exclusivity to Twitch, allowing you to live stream on any platform. Really? I... Wow. So, as a partner, I'm actually allowed to stream uh, on other platforms now, which I wasn't allowed to do as an affiliate, I think. You now be able to post VODs anywhere as soon as you finish the Twitch live stream. And I don't have to wait 24 hours to upload to YouTube now. Okay. Wow, all the stuff that I've done that's uh, kind of a habit. No pause contract reading. Uh, it, it's all publicly posted. It's fine. Okay. Couldn't have to happen to a more serving streamer. Literally put yourself through physical pain for this. Congrats. Wow. Thank you, Banana Man. Revenue shares you earn on Twitch will be shown on your Twitch dashboard. There's no set period of time. The updated contract terms will apply unless you or we terminate agreement will apply for as long as you use Twitch. Review and accept. Uh, enables you to earn revenue from the station. This is okay. That's a really, I'm not going to read all of that. I mean, I'm totally reading all that speed reading right now. I totally, wow, that's a long contract. Uh, terms, termination, DMCA. I know all about DMCA. Uh, okay, okay. Legal notice at Twitch if I have to email. <laughs> oh, this is crazy, man. Yes, we just we just got raided by Twitch devs, basically. We love DMCA. DMCA is our favorite. I totally have never bad mouth bad mouth DMCA. I think I just accepted review updated agreement updated. There's another pop up here. Uh, did we get the check mark? Uh, I think I did it right. Oh, we partner? I think so. Oh my gosh, another gifted sub from Banana Man. Get, uh, bits from Pseudo Drifter Flurchin. DJ Baseline, thank you for the tier one sub. Ten months. Oh my gosh, can't keep up. This is insane. Pie Boy, I think, did bits. Freaky Fred. Holy crap. Uh, check mark confirmed. Is it? We have to show this on stream if that's true. Because I didn't even know it was a thing until I tried to onboard. Uh, I don't see the check mark yet. I'm going to guess maybe that takes a bit or something. No, I see it. I see it. We have a check mark by our name. Oh my god, chat. It's amazing. Um, chatception, by the way. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Okay. <laughs> Confirmed Rand indeed Rand and has a check mark. Oh man, I am literally shaking right now. Thank you so much for that that raid and the um the partner accepting. This is crazy. It is break time and I kind of feel like I need to stand up and like jump around a little bit. So chat and all you awesome people Thank you for all the support. I'm going to go run around my apartment a little bit, take a break, maybe grab a, a granola bar or something. And, uh, woo, we have partner. I am so excited. I am so excited. You all have a great time hanging out with this weird chair and chat. I'm going to go run around a little bit. Y'all rock. See you in a bit, my friends. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing to the channel. Yeah! Hi.